Hi, Robert here. Uh, we're going to look at uh, the navigation bar, which is a very useful tool that you can use while you're working here in that drawing area. So what we're going to do first of all is, as you can see, it's not displayed. So in this view, and this view is missing, so to bring in a navigation bar or cube, we go to the view tab, go to user interface, and select view cube. There's our view cube now. Okay. So if I untick that, it'll go away. Use an interface, tick on it, and it comes on. So it's just the view tab on the ribbon and the user interface fly out. Sometimes they might be switched off, so that's how you bring that in. So now let's look at the navigation bar. There are two icons here. I can click here and customize if I want to, and I can edit the settings of the navigation bar, such as docking position, changing opacity, and things like that. So, now then next we have the top here, we have navigation wheel here, or steering wheel when you're using Revit. So you put on the flyout area, you have different types of wheels that you can use here. And that just depends on what view you're in only. So in a 3D view right now that I'm in, so if you look at the 2D view wheel, it's grayed out because I can't use it. So I'll show you what that will look like in a 2D view. So we want to use full navigation here to leave that clip. Now, as I picked on the wheel icon, I bring out this wheel here. If I click on the orbit and I hold that button and I can pivot around, that's holding it down with the left hand, the left uh, finger or on the mouse button. So if I go on zoom and hold it on zoom, I can zoom in and zoom out on the navigation wheel. Release the mouse button and the wheel comes back. Now rewind. Rewind will take me back to each frame or have frames on the camera. So this is a pretty real, pretty nice uh, command. Neat tool here. One of my favorites. So, now release the mouse button, and you can pan, and I can pan around a 3D model. There's a lot of features here, up and down, look, center, walk. So these are very useful when walking in a 3D model. So to close this, I'll just click on the cross. Job done, once you do that. And you can pull this wheel down. You can also have other settings that you can use as well. Now, next, uh, right here on this flyout wheel, you can zoom into a region, zoom out. Uh, pretty neat. You can fit, zoom the sheet size, or you can do previous panel size. So these are just the zoom tools that are also available on your right click. So now let's go into a TDV. Uh, we will need a plan view. Oh, so let's go in here. So here we still have a navigation bar in this view. But in this view, we don't have the cube because this is a 2D view. So if I click the wheel icon, I can zoom in and out as well. I can rewind like we did in the other 3D view. So these are, and then we can go and pan. So that's basically all we get when we, uh, in a 2D view. So it has zoom, rewind, and pan in a 2D view only. Okay. So now here, as you tick on the little arrow, you got customize here and the
plus button closes it. Okay. So that wheel is very useful as all zoom tools. So basically that's how you use your navigation by rivet. So just briefly going through it, uh, you'll get this bar, this, this panel in a 2D view. And in the 3D view, you get the wheel. And if the wheel doesn't show up or it's not there, it's always in the user interface. So, okay, that's just a quick explanation of the navigation bar in Rivet. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions or anything you want to learn in Rivet, drop me a message and I'll be happy to help you. Thank you and have a good one.